Welcome back, everybody. I'm Peter Clausey. This is Investor Intel. Back with our good friend, Chris Thompson. Hi, Chris. Hey, Peter. How are we doing today? <laughs> We're doing well. Yourself? I'm pretty good. And thank you for your research report on Renforth Resources. It's a company I've heard of, but I didn't really know much about. So thank you for laying it out. I guess the, the, the short is gold with battery metal bonus. <laughs> that is correct. And the title of the report. <laughs> See, I can read. So um, gold in Quebec. Quebec is a uh, prolific gold producer, especially in this area. So where is their, pro their main property located? Yeah, so it's right in the Abitibi Greenstone Belt. Uh, it, the main project they're working on right now is their Parbec Gold Project. Uh, it already has a resource of uh, more than 280,000 ounces of gold. Uh, and it, I and I or measured? Uh, it's uh, I and I. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, and it has um, um, what's great about this project is it's actually adjacent to uh, the Canadian Malartic Mine. Uh, so it's it's right on trend uh, for the Cadillac Larder Lake break there. Uh, it's it's a perfect little feeder uh, um, resource for th that project. Um, and there's a, a couple of other really good advantages for this project is that it it had some older historical drilling that was not included in a in the previous resource uh, because they hadn't drilled enough. Um, and so the company over the last year has been doing uh, some additional drilling to both add new ounces as well as pull those previous uh, historical drill results in. And so we're looking at, and they're looking at putting out a resource and a, an updated resource, you know, in the next couple of months, uh, which should help, uh, you know, as a catalyst for the stock price. Uh, but as well as the Canadian Malartic Mine, you know, they, they are their largest open pit mine and they're going underground and, you know, they're looking for mill feed. So it's a, it's a pretty logical um, you know, place for these guys to pick up some ounces in the short term. You know, a resource probably should be doubling over the next little while with the drilling. And so a half million ounces would help out for, for this company uh, as they're looking to move underground. That, that's Canadian Malartic Mine. So Malartic buy Renforth or just buy ore? Well, I think what they would do is they would probably, uh, you know, uh, Renforth has a, a history of, of, of building resources and selling uh, projects. So they just sold uh, their new Algar project to Radisson Mining in the area. And that's how they uh, wound up with $3.6 million worth of Radisson shares. Yes, exactly. And, and then and then Radisson liked the company so much, did it a follow-on financing at a higher price um, to, to help support the project. So I think what, we'll, what we, we would see is, you know, a new resource come out and then uh, you know, the company Renforth looked to find a buyer for the project or for the company and then spin out the other uh, assets into a new co, uh, a new company. And that's what I would probably see is, is a, since, since Parbeck is such a large part of the company's valuation, I would think that they would want to see the whole company sold and then, and then the, the other three projects spun out into a, a new company. Which then feeds into one of my concerns. I look at figure 14 in your research report, capitalization. It's a quarter billion shares out. Yeah, it's a bit. Yeah, that, that was one part that uh, uh, was impacted the valuation. And so, yeah, you, you have to look at that when you're, when you're looking at the valuation of the actual company itself. And what I did is, you know, for my valuation, I looked at par back the amount of uh, resources they currently have. And then what I think they'll, they'll, they'll get to this year, put a valuation on a per ounce and then some nominal figures for the other projects to get to my valuation. But um, that was one thing that was limiting my target price was the, the number of shares outstanding. So, and, and again, another, re another reason why, you know, as the company moving forward, it probably would be better to actually, you know, sell the company and then start off with a new co uh, with a new share structure. That makes sense. Um, they have cash in the bank and they have other projects outside of Quebec, right? Yeah, so they have two in Quebec along the same in the same area. One is their battery metals par project called Ciremo, uh, and the other one is a uh, Malartic West, which is again in the same area. And then outside of Quebec, they have uh, uh, the Nixel, Nixon Bartleman project, uh, and that's on a different fault. That's on the Dester uh, Porcupine fault near near Timmins. Uh, I love Timmins. Yeah, I think you, you know that area well, and so that's 
And that's been a, um, a project they haven't really done a lot of work on because they were, as I said last year, they were focusing on the new Alga project, which they, they built up the resources and then sold it. And now they're focusing on Parback to do sort of the same thing. But that would be their, you know, the, but beside the, besides the Cerumo Battery Metals project, which has the most interest, of course, because of battery metals, uh, the Nixon Bartlett one would be the next one. Sorry, Chris, what do they count as a battery metal? Like, battery metals is everything from manganese to nickel to yeah. copper to cobalt. Yeah, so it's it's a polymetallic. They've seen both uh, nickel on the site uh, as well as copper and and zinc. So those are the three metals that they they've found. Um, they had a lot of um, you know there were there was putting a hydro line in way back uh, you know in the 60s and 70s when they were doing that work when they found these showings and and nothing was ever followed up on and. Um, you know, Renforth has now assembled a fairly large package in the area. You know, it's like over, you know, 200 square kilometers. And they just added a little more uh, area. Just a, there was a news release last week. And so, um, yeah, so it's a it's a fairly large, you know, scale project. And, um, you know, they have a few good targets that they're going to be hitting uh, this year. And I think that that'll garner some some additional interest in the project. Okay. So Renforth Public Company uh, trades as RFR on the CSE. Uh, experienced management team, nice projects. All of that is a catalyst for your call, which is twenty-five cents a share. That's correct. Yeah, and, and as I say, they they're uh, you know safe jurisdiction, good management team. They've sold projects before. You sort of want to be you know align yourself with people who have uh, that sort of experience, right? So, so uh, final point: uh, e-research, where you are the uh, president CEO, is a paid research company. That's correct. But as we've talked about before, you've never written anything you don't believe in. Well, in this case, uh, you know, I lay out my valuation and it, it, this was a, uh, you know, the valuation within the company was pretty good because they already have an existing resource uh, and they recently sold a project. So you can use that as, as, as you know, helping you do the valuation. So um, I think they have a, a good project and a, a safe jurisdiction and it's, a, it's, it's good to have a look at. Well, Quebec is a safe mining jurisdiction and especially that part of Quebec prolific gold miners uh, up and down that break. So Chris Thompson, eResearch, thank you for your time. If you want the copy of the research report, please contact Chris directly. I'm Peter Clausey from Investor Intel. Have a wonderful day.